Today I'm going to be showing you how to go from this to this and get your hands on your very own custom My Team livery for F1 2023. Let's go. So today guys we are going to take this ugly looking Audi livery and put on a livery that is our own for my team. We've done this throughout the years and all the other F1 games so it's going to be roughly the same as the previous version. We're going to be downloading a few things first before we can get on to installing and then start making the livery. So first thing you're going to want is WinRAR. You want to download the 64-bit version or 32 depending on your system. You're going to need Photoshop. How you get that is up to you. And then the following thing we're going to need is the Intel DDS plugin. Very simple to download. Download. What you're going to do is click download plugin at the top right, download a zip, and the instructions are below here. Just follow those, make sure you read them properly, it's quite tricky. Uh, we will need the DDS plugin as well, um, that's an installer, so that's a little bit easier. ERP Archiver, currently it's not public, but to download this, uh, if you go to the Ego modding server, it'll be in there. Any help you need for these kind of mods or anything, make sure to ask in there. The people are amazing and they're more than happy to help you with any issues you have. Next thing will be JB's templates. You can see we've got a whole host of ones here. We've got the 23 helmets and the cars. Uh, we're gonna be downloading the FOM car for today. You're gonna click that open and click download. Mine says save, but save it to your desktop. And lastly, if you don't feel like making your own mods, head over to Race Department. There's plenty of talented creators out there who have made plenty of good mods for you if you wanna save yourself some time. Now on the desktop, we're gonna open up the downloaded file for the 3D car in Photoshop. And once you open it up, you've got a few options on the layers we've got the decal the number the paint and the floor so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the paint and you can see we've got a blue wireframe and also we've got a green wireframe want to make sure that you're using the right version of photoshop i'll leave the correct version to use in the description below with all the links and everything and then we can start having a little play around and what we're going to do is just to show you the premise of how this works is we're going to whack a little illustration of a dash end on the engine cover once you've done that you go back to the 3d model and boom it's on the car so we're going to use this for demonstration purposes for today uh, with our logo slapped on the side just to be able to get like kind of a baseline you can actually mod the floor which is really really cool on this game not something i'm necessarily used to i don't think we've had that option before or very long but it's a welcomed addition to to modding the cars at least anyway so pretty buzzing about that and it's the exact same process as you would do for the livery one more thing you'd want to do is the s files now that is a whole different video in itself but you can find pretty much a lot of information about this online and in the modding server. I need to save myself a number because of this livery, the number is already on the chassis. So for any decals or numbers, you'd be looking for BC7 SRGB. Um, for the paint um, and everything else, you're going to want to save it as the Intel DDS. And then instead of doing BC7, for this, what you're going to want to do is make sure to change the color and then BC1 SRGB really quite straightforward and it'll be the exact same for the floor you want to save this again as intel dds and you want to save it as color in the color option and then bc1 srgb and then that would be the paint and floor done for the s files instead of doing the intel you're going to do the normal dds and then we'll just save this as floor s for example and then we'll do the exact same thing for the the paint we'll just save it as dds dxt1 paint s uh, just so we can differentiate between between the few um, so once this is done, make sure you save your progress, save to Adobe Cloud, it's the best way of doing it and it saves a lot of time, it really really does, I can't recommend it enough. Now we're going to do open up ERP archiver that you downloaded and then you want to go to settings, game directory and set your directory to the F123 folder. If you don't know where that is, if you open up Steam, open up properties and then go to your local files, uh, at the very top right will say browse and then this will open up the folder path of where the game is, so just copy and paste that in. So now back in the ERP archiver, we're going to want to open the F123 folder then you want to open the 23 asset groups followed by the f123 vehicle package then open up the teams folder and at the very bottom you've got common underscore f-o-m-e-r-p open that up once you open that up i need to change my number quickly so i'm just going to replace that if you do worry about the save files if you've done it correctly when you import a texture into erp at the bottom will have the information um, and if that stays the same then you'll be good to go so we'll be replacing the Audi today so the first one we'll be doing is going to be the paint so open this up double click uh, the enter bar it will skip the process of doing the mitmaps which is why we've saved the game directory into the archiver you want to do the exact same thing with the paint s make sure you obviously double check that the um the save file is exactly the same and then once again just double tap enter and then the floor it doesn't say floor 
inside but it's effectively what it is and then lastly obviously you're going to want to do the same for the floor s file now once that's done you want to hit file save and then hit save again and we're ready to go check it out in game loading into f1 world and we go to the showroom and you can already see in the bottom corner our little uh little mclaren livery um as we run a little animation i know i've kind of condensed this down i know before um, I've taken my time a little bit. If you are a bit confused about, you know, if I've gone too quickly or anything like that, you can refer to my other videos because they are very roughly the same. This is obviously a manual installation. This isn't including modular mods because um, there's already a great tutorial out and, you know, th there's no need for me to retread that. Um, if you do have any questions, obviously feel free to um, ask questions in the Ego modding server. They're very helpful. Um, if you can't find any issues, any solutions to there then feel free to leave a comment or even dm me on twitter if you're really really struggling with any kind of issues relating to this um i'll probably be making a helmet one and i'll probably be making a few other ones i might even cover the s at some point it's just a bit a bit of a slog to do that but hope you've enjoyed the video guys take care and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye